there's five turnovers on the other side of the ball to not be able to get a takeaway today on defense. Yeah, very frustrating. Um, definitely didn't do enough on defense uh, to help our offense out. Like you said, no turnovers. I don't think we had a sack. Um, got a couple short fields, but at the end of the day, you know, we forced one field goal. We got to try to force another field goal. Maybe that'd have been, you know, a difference in the game. You never know, but yeah, just a frustrating day today. Ryan knows he has the entire team's confidence. Uh, you know, we've been down this road before. We understand that, like I've said before, power rankings don't matter. If you don't play well, you're going to lose. And, you know, we're all grown men. Um, I don't think I have to go speak anything to Ryan to motivate him to play better. He knows. I mean, we're all grown men. It's pro professional football. So, um, like I said, we're just not going to panic. You know, it is what it is. We took a loss. And uh, rally the troops, get healthy, and prepare for the Patriots next week. Can you guys kind of kick yourself from maybe not having killer instinct today, giving them a reason to believe early and, and stay interested? Yeah, we understood. In a game like this, you got to go out there and start fast. You got to have some urgency, and we didn't have it today. They did, and they ended up beating us. Kevin, what is that when, when Mike Brabel says at the beginning of the week he, he was preaching urgency in that locker room, and you know you, you go up against a one and eight Texans team? I know you said you're not overlooking that, but what seems to be happening with something like the Jets and? Texans, is there any correlation to that? I think the only thing that's really in relation is that we just didn't play well. Um, you know, I seen an interview earlier this week by Tristan Thompson, so I don't know if y'all seen it, but he was speaking on about, you know, us being professionals, us being all grown men. Like, it, it shouldn't take another grown man to come in here and try to motivate everybody. Like, we all professional football, this feeds our families. You got to go out there and do your job, and that's all we're supposed to do. We got to do our jobs, and we didn't do our jobs today. So I don't think a pep talk or anything like that is going to get anybody ready to play. We have to go out there and do our job. That's the bottom line. That's what we get paid to do. So. How much time did you spend afterwards on a game like this? Like, just dumping the equipment and the lawn, watching? No, I'll be frustrated when I get home, trust me. But, you know, I'm running to my kids and stuff like that. They'll make me feel better. And uh, I'll watch the film tonight, and uh, I'll flush it right after that. I'll try to flush the game right after I watch the film. Obviously, know the things we got to get corrected, and we'll watch the film as a team. And at that point, it's on to the Patriots. So, uh, gonna be frustrating walking out of here. But once I get home to my kids, I'll be good. You know, I think they did a good job of you know moving the pocket, uh, doing some different things like that. They didn't really take a lot of shots. There's just a lot of short stuff, and they kind of just you know nickel and dime us all the way down the field. Uh, we didn't do a good enough job uh, being great on first down giving them second and short. They got a lot of first downs like that. So uh, we didn't do a good job. We didn't do a good enough job in there. Why was he able to break contain on both the touchdown runs? It seemed like he was being chased and flushed from the pocket, but then there was nobody there to clean it up. Right. A couple times, you know, I was actually on the other side of the field. So honestly, I would have to watch the film to actually see what happened exactly. But like I said, they did a good job moving the pocket. And we kind of understood that. But, you know, I don't want to speak on if anybody had any missed assignments or something like that. If I watch the film, and I'll be able to give you a better answer. Nah, honestly, um, like you said, we had a lot of great wins. We had some bad losses. Um, that's the way it goes in this league. When you don't go out there and play well, you underestimate the team, uh, you get your behinds whooped. So um, I talked about it when we lost against the Jets. We'll find out what type of team we are when adversity hits. So we'll find out what kind of team we are next week. Appreciation, Kevin, to the, to the fact that you guys are, have put yourself in a good position that even if you lose a game like this, you know, you're still up a few games in the division. Do you kind of appreciate that at this point? I don't really like to take that mentality. Um, we want to win every single game, but obviously, you know, we still have a good record. So, like I said, we're not about to panic. Uh, we're not about to start pointing fingers at everybody, start, you know, complaining to each other. We can go out there and try to get stuff fixed and get ready to uh, win a, a big game against the Patriots, who's a hot team as well. You said you underestimated the team you get your behinds with. Do you think that was any kind of a thing this week? What do you mean? Say it again? You, you said you underestimated the team you get your behinds with. Do you think that that was any kind of a thing for you guys this week or going nah. on? Like, like she said, I mean, variable. we all preached urgency, preached going out there starting fast, and we didn't. So that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, you shouldn't have a pep talk in these type of games to understand that we have to go out there and start fast. Like, you know, we can say all the stuff we want to do, but at the end of the day, execution and going out there actually doing your job is what really matters.